to a brisk day here in North Carolina, sunny but beautiful, on our obstacle series. Some argue that death renders everything irrelevant. After all, what's the point in doing anything if you're destined to become fertilizer for daffodils, right? <laughs> Here's the truth. Appreciating your mortality, it can create less focus and less in worry. Now, I do have an eternal belief in God. If you want to seriously discuss that, well, you can DM me. However, today, it just doesn't have much to do with, with digging into religion and politics. It's really, really about you. Now, there are advantages to pondering your demise, your eventual demise. There's, a, there's about three of those points. Number one, you'll stop worrying about silly things like the fact that your football team lost the Super Bowl <laughs> or that your great idea failed. It really becomes really a lot less of a burden when things like this are looked through that lens. And many, many of the obstacles in your life, they also take on new meanings and just get less, less scary. All right, number two, you'll focus your attention. Imagine, imagine we had a month to live. I've been there, I am there. You'd spend your remaining time wisely, wouldn't you? But here's the deal, we're all dying a little bit each day. It just happens really slowly. It's something that kind of breaches our consciousness. Think about how quickly the last 10 years have passed. So how many more decades do you really have left? Who knows, right? <laughs> All right, number three, make a list. Yep, make a list of the things you'd like to accomplish before you die. Hmm. Something else. Now imagine that your assumed life expectancy cut in half. <laughs> what would still be on that list? See, then fewer things are as important as you're running out of time. And fewer obstacles are important too. So, contemplating your death has the power to release worries, to enhance your focus, and to increase the meaning you feel in your life. Remember that of the seven billion people on earth, very few are gonna be alive in 100 years. None of them will be alive in 150 years. Are you really worried about a little obstacle? I hope that touches your heart today as we're digging into overcoming obstacles and kind of deals with a little bit of my life as I'm dealing with stage four cancer and, and uh, the questions of mortality that I face. And I'm confident with some of the answers that I have. Now, when it comes to, it comes to living life here on this planet, you know, there's obstacles we always have to overcome. And some of them aren't very easy, especially if you're trying to, you know, launch yourself into a new career or you're an entrepreneur and you want to do a new business or you want to be a better leader. I mean, there's all kinds of ways that you want to move forward in life, but sometimes those obstacles get in the way. Money, life, knowledge, you know, all those things. So I'd love to help you. That's why I created a program called The Flip, to help you overcome obstacles so that you can achieve your number one goal and live a life of abundance. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> so just hit me up here. Give me a shout here at uh, LinkedIn or meet me at mattcrump.tv. There's a lot of great stuff there for you. Also, if you're interested in me being a speaker, keynote speaker, or if you have an event, clinic, workshop you'd like to do, or maybe just, like I said, the one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching too, love to have you there. So uh, just hit me up. We can talk about that. I'm almost back to my house now. I'm gonna sit down and catch my breath and then I'm go pick up my kids from school. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you the next time as we continue the series. One more thing, flip out. <laughs> <laughs>